<laughs> okay, um, good afternoon guys. Uh, sadly our day finished early. Um, we had an alternator problem so um, I've actually got Keith here with me now. Um, so give him a little bit of an introduction um, to the people enjoying these live streams today. So um, so this is Keith. Um, he's um, from KCF Rally Sport or Keith Frackwell. He owns the very nice BDA. Um, Keith's been involved in rallying in Queensland in some capacity, way, shape or form since 1974 yep. and has been sponsoring the KCF short course events since 1996. So Keith, obviously um, you're a bit of a stalwart and quite a well-known uh, rally personality. Um, how did you first become involved in events? Oh, Claire, back with when Fred Thompson was alive, who sadly has passed away now, but we were involved in the Yokohama Warana Rally, to which I officiated, and so stepping up to be an official was how I started, and then enjoyed the sport, enjoyed the camaraderie, enjoyed the whole thing, so then became a competitor, but still obviously officiate, and, and now that it's, uh, my hair's not, not black anymore, um, in a position where we can sponsor those events, and, and look, we use them for the pace notes, because even though the QRCs this year are not pace noted, the ARC is, and those competitors wishing to step up another one can use the pace note a as a schooling for that. Excellent. So that was what we set out to do back in 96 even, back in the beginning we always tried to get use it as a testing field or a, a proving ground if you like. Yeah, for those wanting to go further in rallying. So. Fantastic and obviously the uh, opportunity of this uh, rally experience and test and tune today was to test um, cars and unfortunately the outcome for us wasn't so great. Um, not 100% sure it's an alternator but we'll head back and have a look at that and uh, get ready um, for what lays ahead um, your plans for the year. Oh Claire, what, well, sorry, just quickly on today, the test and tune was excellent in that we changed a number of things, replaced and, yeah, replaced and altered partially uh, a number of things, so today as a, as, as a shakedown if you like, was good that we found a problem, uh, so now we can fix it, stay ahead of it, um, but look this year we um, will, you and I will run the, the QRCs, that's what's our first ones in Airlie Beach I think in about eight weeks time, a couple, couple months time or so, yeah. Yep. yeah. And um, whilst you've been away from actively competing, you've still obviously kept up your duties of doing sweep at, um, at the KCFs. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I know that um, you, went, you do when you can take um, forestry people and other people for ride days. What sort of responses do you get from people once they've gotten out of your car? No, they don't get out too quickly. Seems they don't seem to anyway. No, look, it, it's just uh, to have that sensation. I think the average person probably drives out their windscreen, not the side window. But on a BDA Escort, you drive out the side window. So, look, it's that sensation. I think the average person uh, just hasn't had, and that's where, when somebody goes in with any of the rally drivers, it's it's a whole new field for them. And it's great because, and hopefully they won't break that late on the road and etc. But uh, now I think as an avenue to show them the sport is, is excellent. Yep. Yeah, fantastic. All right. Well, um, unfortunately our day's done, which means um, beer o'clock will be as soon as events finish. But for me anyway, some people have got to drive home. Um, but look, thanks very much for um, joining us. And I think we're going to be heading out to stages possibly for a few more interviews. So hang fire and uh, apparently we've got this thing going great. So thanks so much everybody for joining us today. Thanks, Keith. Appreciate Thank you. your time. Thank you very much. Thank you.